Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a taxi booking website using Wix. Once on Wix, all you'll need to do is enter your name and email address and then you will be redirected to this page. And the beauty about Wix is you'll be able to create a free website on their platform and it will stay free forever unless you choose to use your personal domain name. So the first thing you want to do, once on Wix, you are going to simply type in taxi. After typing in taxi, you can select taxi service right here. Then you are going to tap on next. After doing that, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you are going to enter your business name. So for this example, I'll simply enter on time. Then you're going to tap on next. After doing that, you'll be redirected to this dashboard on which you can select chat as more than likely you're going to want to respond to your customers. And you can also select booking as you'd like your clients to book when they'll need your taxi. And you can scroll down and if you'd like more any one of these details, you can select them. So let's say, for example, you'd like to add a blog, you could simply tap on blog right there. And if you'd like to add your Instagram feed, you can also tap on Instagram. And also, if you would like to create a forum so persons can share their feedback, you could do that. Then you are going to tap on next. After tapping on next, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll see two options. Either you can tap on get a custom built site and let Wix create a site for you in minutes, or you can tap on begin with a template. For this example, I'll select begin with a template. After doing that, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you can see numerous templates, example of taxi websites, as you can see right here. And once you have found one to your liking, for example, let me see this one right here. I'll select this one. So I'm going to tap on edit. After selecting edit, you will give it a few minutes for it to combine your website or to set up your website better yet. Once it is finished loaded, you'll be redirected to this page and you will see how your current website looks and you can scroll down to preview it. Then you can start editing. So to start editing, for example, if you would like to change the number more than likely in the top right hand corner, all you have to do is tap on that particular box. After selecting the box, you could tap on change text. Then from here, you could enter your own phone number. So you click clear this section right here and enter your own phone number. Then you'll simply tap on enter. After you have entered the number, from here you'll tap right where you see where does this does it link to. And you're going to change this link right here. And you'll select phone number and you're going to re you're going to add the same phone number again as you had added earlier in this section, then you'll tap on done. After you have done that, the other thing that you can also do, you could change this section right here by simply tapping on the section, then you could tap on edit text. And from here, you could add your business name right there if you want. You can also change the image right here by simply tapping on the current image, then you'll select change vector image. And you can also edit the, the navigation bar right here if you want. You can tap on the navigation section. Then you'll tap on manage menu. And from here, if you would like to delete a section, you could do that. For example, all you'll have to do is tap on the three dots. Then you'll tap on delete to remove a section. And also, if you would like to add a page, all you have to do is tap on add page at the bottom right here. So let's say, for example, I want to add a booking page. You'll tap on add page. Then from the left hand menu option, you can see booking right here. You could tap on booking. Then you'll select add Wix booking. 
then give it a few seconds to load up so from this page your clients will now be able to book whenever they will need your taxi service and that is the beauty about Wix it has numerous features that are easy to implement so you don't need to be a, a, any tech or any specialist to use Wix and to create a beautiful website Okay, you can see that the booking page has been added and now all you have to do as you can see right here booking online you can tap on it and you'll see the booking page right here so from here you can scroll down and you'll be able to organize this as you can edit each section so you could tap on the photo right there and there where you see manage services you are going to tap on that then you will be redirected to this dashboard just give it a few seconds to load up from here you'll see the different options private car pickup airport transportation interstate journey or taxi service and all you have to do beside any one of these options as you can see daily rate and so on all you have to do right now you can tap on edit beside any one of these options then you are going to be redirected to this dashboard and from here you are going to scroll down then you'll be able to add your rate and you'll also be able to edit the duration and so on and you can also add a description if you want so you can scroll down and from here you'll be able to set your price as I said earlier as you can see right there so once your client visits your website they'll be able to book you and they'll know the approximate rate once you're finished and it is to your liking you're going to tap on save and also from the left hand menu option you can see where you can set up loyalty program so you could do this for persons that are consistently using your service and you can also offer gift cards if you want this would be perfect for example for the holiday seasons like Christmas or so on and you'll tap on save from the top right hand corner then let me close out of this and also when it comes to editing the navigation bar let me do that again all you have to do let me go back to the top tap on save when it comes to editing the navigation bar all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option and by the way you will see pages and menu right below the plus you are going to tap on that then let's say for example I want to move the service page to the top all you have to do to move the service page is simply tap on it then you'll drag it to the section right there let me do that site menu and you will see right there book online home services and if you would like to move the book online page to the top you'll simply tap on it and drag it to the top as you can see right there so that is how to rearrange the pages then you could simply tap on X and also anything that you want to change any section and also if you would like to add a section you can do that quite easy by going over to the left hand menu option and once in the left hand menu option you are going to see the different options right here you can tap on content manager or from here you could tap on the plus at the top let's say for example you would like to add a video or so on you could do that after tapping on the plus all you'll do is tap on video and music then from here you'll select Wix video and you could select the video that you would like to upload then you'll tap on the content box for example let's say I want this one right here all you have to do is tap and drag so you'll drag it to the section that you want to add it to then after doing that you'll be able to add your video it's quite easy to set up a website using Wix to your liking as you can see right here you can add the content box then after I've done this all I'll do is tap on manage videos at the top right here 
then you will see the option to import for example i want to add a youtube video i could add the youtube video link and that's it As you can see right here, you can also upload your video. Once the video is not over 15, G 15 GB, you can upload a video from your device. And as I said earlier, you can add videos from YouTube or so on by simply copy and pasting the URL. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. And once you are finished editing it to your liking, you are going to tap on publish at the top, top right hand corner. And once you have selected publish, you will be given the option to choose the name. So from here, you could edit the name if you want. If it is to your liking, you will simply tap on done. And as I said earlier, you also have the option to add a branded domain if you want. But for now, you can start off with a free domain. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.